CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.9, Given a Scenario, Configure Appropriate Security Settings on Small Office, Home Office, Wireless, and Wired Networks. Soho Firewall Settings. When setting up a small office or home office network, configuring your Soho Firewall is yet another way to ensure security. The firewall acts as the network's gatekeeper, controlling which data is allowed in and out of the local area network, helping to prevent unauthorized access while allowing legitimate traffic through. In this video segment, we're going to focus on two key firewall settings that directly impact how your Soho router network handles network traffic. First, we will talk about disabling and used ports. Ports are like virtual doors on your network that allow specific types of data in and out. If a door, or port, is open but not being used, it can become a security risk, as attackers might exploit it to gain unauthorized access. By disabling these unused ports, you're essentially closing those doors, tightening the security of your network and limiting access to only the essential traffic. Once you've explicitly allowed the ports that are necessary for your network's functionality, such as those needed for web traffic or email, it's a best practice to implement a deny-all rule for any other ports. This means that only the specified, permitted ports are open, and all other traffic is automatically blocked. By taking this approach, you further reduce the chances of unauthorized access and make your network more secure. One final point, Universal Plug and Play, or UPnP, can automatically open ports. If you want to maintain strict control over which ports are open, you may need to disable this feature to ensure that only your specified ports are allowed. Now, let's move on to port forwarding, which is important when you need to allow external traffic to access a specific service inside your network. Port forwarding, sometimes referred to as port mapping, is the process of redirecting communication requests from one address and port number to another. This occurs when data packets are received by the network gateway. To say it another way, port forwarding allows external devices to connect to a particular service or device within your network by mapping the external port to the internal IP address of the device hosting the service. For example, what if your company hosts a public website on an internal server, but customers need to access it from outside the local area network? If that is the case, then port forwarding would ensure that incoming web traffic is routed directly to the web server inside your network. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.